This new M18 lithium Forge 6 amp hour battery is 4811-1861. This does have an increased tool performance rating, PWR4, and the rating goes from one to five. I will be doing some test videos coming up with the Ryobi and the Makita. So please subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in that. All right, but first I do want to do a duration test with this fan. Let's see which six amp hour battery will last the longest. This is a time-lapse video, which I thought was a little interesting. The six amp hour high output battery lasted five hours and three minutes. And the six amp hour forge battery lasted five hours and 24 minutes. But if you want to take the hours out, it is 303 minutes for the high output and 324 minutes for the forge. So I figured why not do a time lapse of charging and the charging time for the six amp hour high output battery was one hour and 52 minutes. And the charging time for the forge battery is one hour and 56 minutes. The forge wins by four minutes. And so, yeah, I was surprised about that result. Two pounds and 6.5 ounces. Three pounds and 6.6 .6 ounces. The winner is the Forge with two pounds and 1.3 ounces. So at a full charge, it is the lightest battery. Gen 4 impact driver, five inch ledger lock. So for the five inch ledger lock, the 12 amp hour high output battery is for the win with 1.32 seconds. Let's take them out. Didn't even need to use the impacts. Six inch by half inch lag. Forge again for the win with 3.77 seconds. Let's take them out. And Forge for the win with 1.43 seconds. Half inch stubby, M18. Impact wrench, we are gonna go with something bigger. Each battery is doing the exact same task. Trust me, this is a hard task to do, which is why an impact wrench is required. Smidge more. Got it. All right, now let's see what the Forge battery can do. I'm curious with this one. This is where we're gonna see a big difference in battery performance. And like I said, when it comes to this type of test, this battery is gonna dominate. Yeah. Let's take them out. Not too shabby. Alrighty, we are gonna use a two and nine sixteenths Milwaukee switchblade. And of course, I do not want uh, one of the batteries to have the first cut out of a brand new blade on speed one. And by our high output battery. And now the Forge 6 amp hour battery, speed one.
Surprisingly, the 6 amp hour high output battery is for the win with 9.43 seconds. And the others trailed ah. on by about less than a second. All right, next we are going to do a, just a 6 inch lag with no pre-drill. We could try speed 2 just because. It should be able to do it on speed 2. Aww. Oh, guess not. Speed 1 is required for that, so we'll restart. Time. Time. I hope you get it at this point, you guys, that this Forge battery is well worth purchasing when it comes to power. Uh, let's take it out. It's very lightweight. It'll do the job. No problem. I'll stop the timer at the correct time. All right, speed two, it's on drill. We'll do three consecutive holes in a row. Six amp hour high output battery. Then the six amp hour forge battery. Forge for the win with 6.46 seconds and the other two batteries are not far behind. All right, six amp hour high output battery. Battery is still full. Brand new Diablo half inch blade. We're going to do two holes, add them together. Whichever one has the lowest time is the winner for this task. Twelve amp hour battery next. With both holes for all three batteries Very added up together, it actually is a six amp Time. hour high output battery for the win with 31.16 seconds. Alrighty, for this test, we are gonna use the Milwaukee Super Sawzall. Each battery is gonna have its own brand new blade. We have the Wrecker. And just to show you guys, this is 10 and three quarters. This blade is nine teeth per inch. We're gonna have orbital feature on. What a powerhouse. 12 amp hour high output battery has full bars. It's like, why wouldn't it? And last is the forge battery. And the battery is still full. It's on orbital feature, brand new blade. Time. And for the last and final test, it is the 6 amp hour high output battery for the win with 23.46 seconds. 
and the Forge has 27.04 seconds. All right, long story short, do you really need to upgrade your batteries from the high output to the Forge right now? No, you don't. This has plenty of power. Even the three amp hour high output has a lot of power, which versus video for certain tasks coming in the future. All right, so when it comes to these stacked batteries, DeWalt really did it right. They released their low amp hour first, which was the 1.7, and it was small. That's what got everyone excited. I think it would have been a better choice for the majority of the customers of Milwaukee to do a three amp hour forge battery then come out with the six amp hour towards Christmas. But I do think that Milwaukee and Home Depot are gonna implement their Forge batteries into their BOGO sales this Black Friday slash holiday sales season. And so yeah, it is a darn good battery. The price point is not bad. $199 for a brand new style of a battery from Milwaukee, it really is not a bad price at all, especially for a six amp hour. Now the six amp hour battery will last you a pretty long time on a single charge, but in my opinion, I really, really wish that they would have made a three amp hour forged battery instead. The size and weight is the number one thing that people want and they want power with that. So if they can make a three amp hour forged battery a little smaller than this high output battery, that would actually be phenomenal. But we'll see what happens in the future. They might come out with that soon or maybe even sometime early next year. I really do think that Black Friday sales are coming up with this. Like, uh, we'll see what they come out with. But is it worth buying? Of course it is, it's a battery. You could always use more batteries. I'm glad that I got a Milwaukee fan finally, because I've been using Ryobi fans for years. So this is not my first video doing the Gen 4 hammer drill. I do have a video out versus the Hilti Neuron. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.